tonight, a new commuter bus line in Queens has turned into a traffic nightmare. Some drivers say their rush hour commute has nearly doubled since a lane change. Right now, you're looking at live pictures from Chopper 2 over the delays on the Woodhaven Boulevard near the Long Island Expressway. These delays have been growing for hours. CBS 2 political reporter Marsha Kramer with more, including reaction from the city. Cars backed up for miles on Woodhaven Boulevard in Queens tonight. A rush hour nightmare that drivers say is being caused by the new select bus service. One lane of traffic now for buses only, no cars allowed. Angry tweets tell the tale. Just say what you really want, Mr. Mayor. Car zero, not vision zero. With 24-7 bus lane on Woodhaven Boulevard, fumed Gerard Angel Astro. Even during midday, when traffic is lighter, there were plenty of drivers who weren't happy that the new 14.7-mile route creates a special bus lane shrinking the space for cars on the only north-south artery in Queens. I think it's horrible. Why? There's a lot more traffic because they narrowed everything. Absolutely ridiculous. I'm always stuck in traffic because of these new bus lanes. Terrible. Creates more traffic. Transportation Commissioner Polly Trottenberg defended the new route, which she says will provide 40,000 bus riders with faster rides and connections to the subway and the Long Island Railroad, and will also cut down on injuries and fatalities. It was one of the deadliest roadways in New York City. Were there any traffic studies? We did two years of traffic studies. The commissioner says the agency redesigned the pinch points and corridors in the hope of creating three lanes of traffic that move. Problem is, in rush hour, it doesn't. There are people who take this route who now say it's added as much as an hour to their commute because of the, the loss of what they say is a lane of traffic. Well, I mean, we've been out there. I don't think it's causing an hour's delay. I also asked if she would change the no-car mandate and allow cars in the bus lanes before and after rush hour, before 7 a.m. and after 7 p.m. Of the nearly 15 miles, only about 2.7 do we have the 24-hour bus lane? For now, we want to keep that 24-hour bus route in that 18 percent. That's where we've seen a lot of injuries and fatalities. And though it is probably small comfort to those stuck in traffic right now, the commissioner says she's willing to make tweaks if any problems prove to be lasting. Dana. Marsha, thank you.